Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video. And apparently Seth Rogen has channeled Pumbaa, a Lion King character, for Bebop in his own Ninja Turtle movie. Look, before I read in read this article. If I wanted to watch Pumba, I would watch the animated Lion King movies. All three Lion King movies, plus the Timon and Pumba show. If I wanted to watch him channel Pumba, per se, I would watch that horrible, horrible 2019 remake of Lion King. I'm already very critical of this movie. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very critical of this new Ninja movie. I'm, on one hand, I'm happy there's a new Ninja movie that's coming out. On the other hand, like I said before, I'm not a huge Seth Rogen fan when it comes to directing. I'm a bigger fan of his when it's his acting than directing. And so, um, just hearing that he's channeling Pumbaa for Bebop makes me even less excited for the movie, to be honest. Even though Kevin Eastman, which I met in person, is enjoying his take. This headline just makes me less excited for the movie. But anyways, let's get this going, shall we? Seth Rogen, who is forcing beep up in the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, channeled another Warhawk of his, Pumbaa, who he portrayed in the 2019's Lion King remake, taking lessons from the session to help, to help the authenticity of his TMNT venture. While voice actors typically record in separate booths or ses or and sessions, this wasn't always the case on The Lion King, which allowed for a looser production and more natural voices, or at least as natural as Warhog talking to American can be. When Rogan shared a booth with the likes of Donald Glover, who played Simba, and Billy Eisner, who played Timon, that too helped Seth Rogan get into the mindset, at least assuming. Beep up, um, has a mind for Team and T. Team and T. Uh, speaking to the Hollywood Reporter, Rogan said, "Quote unquote, we really went out of our way and bent over backwards on Ninja Turtles to try to capture the improvisational energy that you get when a lot of people are in the same place." At the same time, I actually saw how helpful it was from doing the Lion King, and it's that the it's that's the tone and style you're going for, then it's greater thing to chase. And okay, so, so that part I, as a theater kid, I can kind of see where he's coming from. Um, but Seth Rogen wasn't the only one sharing. A booth during the making of the TMNT, which he did with John Cena, who forces Rocksteady. On Ninja Turtles, it was lovely because we were able to control the process a lot more. Every For every session, we lumped people together, so every time the four turtles recorded, they were together. Me and John Cena were Bebop and Rocksteady, and we recorded together. Ice Cube was a bunch of scenes that with the Ice Cube has a bunch of scenes with the kids, so they record together. In addition to Seth Rogen, John Cena, and Ice Cube, the new Team T has a pretty stacked voice cast with the likes of Jackie Chan, Hannibal Burns, Maya Rudolph, Paul Rudd, and more. Seth Rogen has kept his distinct voice in business as of late, at also playing Donkey Kong in the months. The Super Smash Bros. movie. Hey, at least he doesn't have tusks. 
I have to say, I did enjoy uh, um, Seth Rogen as uh, Docking Kong. Especially more than I enjoyed him as Pumbaa. So there's that. Are you looking forward to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem? Let us know what you're hoping in this comment section. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So long story short. I can kind of see where he's coming from with, uh, if, with the whole improv thing. Like, if it's easier for him to, like, act and feed off the energy of the, <gasps> excuse me, other actors as he's, like, performing behind, like, the booth in the recording studio, then I can see that. But, uh, I can't understand that. But, like I said, I, um, if there's anything outside of that, then this just makes me a bit more hesitant. I'm hoping that's the only thing that he's incorporated his time on The Lion King with, per se, into this new Nintendo movie. But, um, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Roken as a, a producer. I'm more of a fan of him being a, um actor. So, even though I'm, like, very, very reluctant... I will give Rogan a chance in his new Nitsuro movie. Whether I like it or not, I will I have no idea. I like I said, my I, my woes are high with this. And um admittedly I am excited for Jackie Chan as Master Splinter. Um I don't think that Will ever go away with the uh, until like I uh, hear his Jackie Chan as um Spencer. I mean, if we could get the dude to play Monk to be Splinter in two Ninja Turtle movies, can't really be surprised if uh, Jackie Chan is Spencer freaking Splinter. So, but um, admittedly, I did judge this a bit too harshly before coming in, and let. After reading this, I have to say that if he's using his experience from The Lion King to help better um, Unit Mayhem, uh, then I'm all up for it. But that doesn't exempt me from being extremely skeptical about the, uh, the movie. Because so I do have every um, intense tension of watching so that said what do you beautiful people think let me know in the comment section down below love you guys have one over day be kind to one another and i'll talk to you fellow means later